What is going on guys and welcome back to another video. So I have an interesting topic here. Whenever I see some really, really great things on the internet, I love to just spread these as far as I possibly can. Now that being said, I do want to ask you guys a question first of all. If you haven't yet already seen the rumor, the rumor going around that is more or less confirmed at this stage anyway from actual evidence is the fact that games on the PlayStation 5 in terms of price have actually been increased. Now, in terms of a different we're only talking like $10 or so, but that $10 still is $10. So does this bother you or does it not? I want you guys to let me know in the comments below. If you're excited for Spider-Man PS5 Miles Morales, drop a like on this video and subscribe as well. Now, the big thing here is, and this is what I did see, well, whose topic I'm going to be talking about did say, and that is that they hope this won't feel like a Spider-Man PS4 Miles Morales skin gameplay, but an actual Miles Morales experience. And I think that is something important to actually just shed some light on, because, you know, it could just potentially be something that could be in, in Spider-Man PS4, but we know that this is some kind of spin-off, so let's just imagine it as Uncharted. Now, that being said, there is a fantastic wish list on Reddit, which I'm going to link in the description below as well. But something that I really think is super, super cool is what you are seeing on screen right now. Now, again, I'm going to leave the original link in the description below. But this post here says, I really hope Spider-Man Miles Morales or Spider-Man 2 PS4 have their, um, I'm guessing he meant PS5 here, <laughs> actually have their transition from menu to gameplay like they did in this demo on the PlayStation 4. Now, if you guys have ever played Just Cause 3, they did this, and this is exactly what this person says, and it's basically where, essentially, wherever you save the last game, it picks up a place near there and has some unique idle animations that play until you actually move. Now, again, it's something really simple, but it gives you that, you know, brand new game experience, and considering this was done in the demo for Spider-Man PS4, there's no doubt it can't be done on this PS5 version, so I really, really hope this is something that does get added. Now, moving into this wish list, this does come from somebody on Reddit who is called Kusa underscore Barber. Now, that being said, again, the link for this in the description is below. I don't know why that felt like it didn't make sense, but we're just going to continue rolling. Now, I've only picked out about, I think, three or four of the topics that he did mention on here, but there are literally like 16 of them, so I strongly recommend you check these out after. Now, the first one I wanted to point out, which was actually number two, is more swinging animations. For example, Peter always started swinging from the same position. Yeah, he did some tricks, but it felt the same. He always went back to his default position. Now, now, what this person would love is to have Miles be falling from a building with his back facing the ground and then shooting the webs from that position without even looking at the ground or maybe add a delay when shooting a web it can create those last second intense moments when you are about to hit the ground you can then combine that with maybe a free fall animation that lets you fall back facing the ground and you have the of course ultimate spider-man experience Experience. Now, again, something kind of simple as far as gameplay goes, but it's super, super challenging and makes you really feel that character a whole lot more. And it really, really just defines those super intense moments. And for me, this is a must have. Now, the second one again is a must have because it's something we did see in the Spider Man PS4 demo way back in E3, if you remember Spider-Man was literally like running through this calf, jumping on tables and then smashing through the window, well we basically want more places that you can enter in the city. So this dude gave an example like a church or a coffee shop or the top of the church where the bell is, something that makes New York feel like an actual city. I think with the power of the PlayStation 5 that could work very nicely and maybe doing a more real version of New York City adding some things that were missing in the first game, maybe scaling up the buildings, this person felt like the buildings were a bit small compared to the characters. Now, I don't know what you guys think about that. I mean, there's always room for improvement as far as that goes. Another thing about making it feel more like New York City, again, we know this is set around Christmas time, so it leads to a big question of, is it always, well, I mean, in terms of weather conditions, how long are we going to be in that snowy area versus like a daylight and, and so forth? So what types of different seasons will we experience 
for that if that makes sense so that's another interesting like subject to really elaborate on in another video but this is another one and he says he knows this may be a stretch but maybe there could be an apartment that Miles lives in that you can enter and do stuff in. Maybe you could customize your own suit such as changing the color, the spider logo, the lenses and maybe of course it could just fit the whole be yourself motto greatly. And once again everyone could have their own Spider-Man again, a very very important thing and I think this could work very well. I would absolutely love this, honestly hands down that is just such a great feature. Now another final thing is again a must have but it's just damaged dirty suits after battles. So something like the Sam Raimi movies did where of course his suit was always ripped and his face was showing in the final battles. I really feel like this could be a thing considering the beginning of the trailer as well but we got to take into consideration to not make this feel like you know a Spider-Man Miles Morales skin experience that could have been on the PlayStation 4. It really needs to have some new features that of course the PlayStation 4 version did not have so I want you guys to leave your thoughts on this in the comments below. That's going to wrap up this video here. As always subscribe for more awesome content. I will see you in the next until then, have yourselves a ridiculously amazing day, and adios amigos.